came in today, though. My mom uh, sent me a mask and uh, sent Jasmine a mask. Of course, she sent, she sent JR a mask prior to any of our masks. She got the Batman joint. Clean, too. Super clean. And, you know, we got the ordinance here in Houston to where we have to wear it starting on Monday or it's a $1,000 fine. I even have to wear it at work now mm. in the yeah, hallway. Okay. Yeah, right. not but if I'm in the hallway, I got to wear it. They send the email out. Let me oh, see your mask, man. Mine? I can get them. Oh, yeah, shit. You, yeah. We just talking about the mask, nigga. Who else? Oh, man, you know what I don't like is I be seeing people riding, driving in their cars, right? With masks on. Don't that look I, crazy? I, thank you. I've been on quarantine, but this is even before I've been on full effect lockdown. I've yeah. been seeing niggas in the car by them damn selves yeah, yeah, with yeah. a mask on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I shake my head. And my gloves. Head. And gloves. Nigga, it's your car. It's right. your breath. <laughs> they, they what you doing? Head. Like, that don't even make no <laughs> sense to me, man. They just, man, y'all wasting perfectly good product out here, oh and it, it don't make no damn sense. Boy. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm telling you, I don't Mm-hmm. You know, me and my yeah, mama, mama ordered this one for me, and then she got this scripture for uh, Jazz. The word is a lamp under my feet. Well, like, okay, I, I see. Uh, All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, and she I, forgot about her goddaughter, but that's okay. Oh, you ain't asked Kim. Kim, I ain't know you was over there. I ain't, I ain't asked. I ain't know she had masks. The people don't see you. She, she don't said the people don't see you see how they come in? She forgot about it's a heckler the today, huh? Yeah. Mask, but that's okay. Kim, Kim, her. what I'm going to tell you is she bought JR's like last week, wasn't it? And I was like, okay, I'm the one that's going out and getting the stuff. <laughs> they are chilling. He just chilling around the house with the Batman mask. She was like, oh, okay, let me look for one. So she was looking for a Fort Valley State one. And so that one ain't going to come in until like next week. I was like, well, if I go out and I ain't got no mask, you know what I'm saying? I get a $1,000 fine. And she was like, okay, don't worry. I got y'all. I got y'all. So she oh. got one and uh, from one of our cousins. Um, so she could probably do you one. Um, Jasmine said she's going to text her now. And okay. mom going to feel bad. She did. It popped, it popped up on the screen right now. So she texted me. She's going to feel bad, Kim. She's going to feel bad. She's going to get you one. She's going to get you one. <laughs> Hold on one quick second, y'all. Can y'all hear me? Can everybody yeah, hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Everybody, I'm coming in good? Yeah. Welcome to the MVP. Man, it's you podcast, baby. Let's go. We're here again for another week. Here to get it. As you hear, as you hear there's a lot of motherfuckers in here that ain't normally in here. But we in here. What's up, Jasmine? How you doing? Good. How you guys? Doing good. What's happening, Kim? She's in here as well. So if you hear somebody in the background talking, that's my wife. Um, we got Chris, CP up in here. What's happening, CP? What's up? Oh, we got the little girl. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll go ahead now. <laughs> hey. 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 What's going on, Val? What's happening, Cody? Hi. 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 Uh, what's happening, Book? What's going on, brother? I'm pulling up. No, that, no, that ain't for Sean. Arm that just came in the screen, too, huh? What's happening, for Sean? What's that? Hey. What's up? How are y'all? Y'all good? We good. Yeah, yeah. We can't we can't show her right now. She ain't got a bra on, you know what I'm saying? So so (laughs) it was on display, you know what I'm saying? Hey. Hey, hey. Better put those things up good. (laughs) They say if you want to get on the MVP, you're gonna have to time up. You have to time up. Well, we back here again. Of course, we got more people than we normally have on here. You know what I'm talking about? So shout out to that. Shout out to Cody. Shout out to CP. Um, and we in here. We in here for another week. Book, you seem like you got something on your spirit, man. Are you okay, brother? You good? I'm good till later. We're going to get into it. Okay, no problem. I just want to make sure we all straight. We all straight. Okay. Yeah, we good, man. Okay. Good. First off, I know a lot of stuff been happening in the world with the corona. Um, and... We want to give a, a, a second to Hi. do what we've been doing all week. I just want to let you, I just want to ask you guys how y'all doing during the pandemic. You know what I'm talking about? How Hi. things going? How was your week this week? You know what I'm saying? Hi. What's happening Hi. with you, Chris? I know little, little girl won't talk, man. So how, how was your week? Hi. Yeah, she's going to have to go. <laughs> um, what you call it? Uh, you know, they keep putting up 
and putting out, you know, new information at the post office. You know, what I'm talking about um, they finally got it to now where we um, we're signing for hand sanitizers. That's part of our equipment now. So I'm happy about that, you know, in terms of them looking out, you know, for the employees. Um, masks, they're really cracking down. We had a <laughs> really a situation with one of the co uh one of my coworkers who got it, got into it with the supervisor because as soon as you walk in, they're like, you need to have your mask on. He's like, well, you're not even providing us with the right kind of mask that we need. I'm not trying to argue with you. Need to put your mask on. He's like, well, give me the right one. That ain't the right one. So <laughs> it was like <laughs> you got some back and forth that's going on with that. Um, you know, that's high, a couple high heads, man. But you know, it's that that time where you know people they, they they're a little uneasy with everything that's been going on. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. tempers, unfortunately, are are flaring. But you know, they say cooler heads prevail. So it is what it is. But um, as far as uh, Corona, man, um. I try to watch the news sometimes, man, but it's I ain't gonna lie, man. It's hard to watch that dude. Man. I ain't gonna lie, it's mm -hmm. hard. You know, he seems like he just be winging it so much, you know. And a lot of people all need the administration be uh like, come on, bro, just just stick to the cue cards, stick to the cue cards. When he he goes sideways, it's, it's hard to follow that dude, man. When my man said, drink the bleach, you know what I'm saying, and, and drink the hand sanitizer. Yeah, and yeah, and, and then I mean they had a quick. Uh, <laughs> Uh, what you call it? Uh, meeting today, you know, normally this thing is about an hour long. It was about mm. twenty minutes today because he didn't oh. want to have to rebuttal what he said this morning. Regarding yeah. That. So uh, he walked. He wait, walked hold on. Everybody that did, was coming. Everybody he that didn't hear, yeah, you should have heard it by now if you was living under a rock. The boy Trump said, um, basically, how about people start drinking a little bit of bleach, take a little swig of bleach, because bleach kills the coronavirus. Hey, no, no. He also said. <laughs> He, he, just, he didn't say that. He okay. said disinfectant. He said, right? The thing is, that like, make it better? <laughs> no, he didn't say bleach. He didn't say bleach. Like, if we were talking about the, the disinfectant, you know, anything that disinfects, it's yeah, pretty much look. what he's saying. But the boy said, uh, we got 1.8 million, so that's 1,080,700 or some shit like that. <laughs> Nigga don't know how to talk. He was doing the math? Yeah, don't even know yeah, how to yeah, well, yeah. I said, boy, God yeah. damn, you so smart. Just give my goddamn check, Nick. Give my damn check. <laughs> he also he also well, said um, U UV rays kill the coronavirus, so he wanted to put the UV rays in your skin to shine it on the coronavirus. <laughs> to be honest, I just wish that he leave the medical stuff to the doctors. Exactly. Yes. But Trump smoked a little bit of weed, and that's high. That's high answers because I thought about the same stuff. When you get high, or something like that, you think like, hey, you know, you know, a little disinfected. You might as well swallow that or like mouthwash. Mouthwash kill 99.9% .9 of the germs. Why don't you take a little swig of mouthwash? You heard? Corona free. You see how crazy that shit sound? Your president yeah, talking but, like that. Yeah, that was, that's what I'm about to say. That's coming from <laughs> the president of the United States. Hey, it is what it is. That's, that's how I talk. Yeah, um, it's, it's a difference. <laughs> Cody, man, what's happening, man? How, how, how was you, how's your Corona week been? Man, it's been the same, man. Y'all know how I, I've been. Um, no, nah, it's been a little bit I better. Mean, yeah, I've been yeah, she, she, she been. She, I give you some credit. All right. She been home this week. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So she helped a lot with little man. I let her know that you know whenever she's not here, because she does one week on uh, and one week off, and that's just oh, one week, oh. and then one week going in. Mm -hmm. And so the week that she's at home, it seems to be the most chaotic week out of the whole damn month. Every single time. So it's like every other week is chaotic. And so whenever I'm at home, it's a lot more control, a lot more structure. Because we even got like a board over there that we try to follow. We don't follow it 100%. But little man knows his schedule. You know, we try to duplicate a, a schedule, which what they would do at, at school. And so I don't think she realized that until what, Tuesday? Was it Tuesday or Wednesday? It was something like that. And so she was like, okay. And she went over there and looked at the schedule. And so she tried to implement the schedule the next day. And he did a really good job, man. So it wasn't a lot of stress dealing with the little man. So I was just dealing with work stuff, which is fine. And that's day-to-day -day stuff. But I didn't have both of them piled up on me this week, man. So this was a better week. I'll say that. But next week is going to be back to the same old. I'm going to be jumping in on the podcast, bro, and be pissed off at him picking the wrong answers. Like, <laughs> how, you know what I'm saying? You know how I go. 
Hold up, Jasmine. Jasmine. Did you hear what he was mad at la the what the other week? Uh I don't think I did. Yo, the, the teacher asked, what would he do? What the would your son do? Paper. The paper said, how did he feel? Oh, yeah, you talking about that. He, yeah. Yeah, hey, I explained that to him. Yeah. You can't <laughs> tell your son how to feel. If he feel proud, he feel proud. Wow. Yeah. Can't nobody tell you how to feel. Exactly. Right? Now, now, because I've already passed through the SATs and everything else. I'm saying now at this point, he needs to know how to maneuver Oh, did, and you, weave. did you tell them that your child has got your um, hustle mentality? mentality? Nah, got it. I ain't got it. You, you told us about that. You told us about that. Oh, oh on the yeah, group. You told me. us about that. Yeah. I did. I did. A yeah. little bit. Yeah. Book uh, Corona. Yeah. What's how your Corona been, bro? I'm ready to get the fuck up out of here, man. You was hyped just last week, though. Uh, just last week, you was hyped. He was like, hey, look, they got us blocked off, but we ain't going nowhere. We're good. That's been a week. Damn, bro. That should get boring, man. <laughs> you got to understand, <laughs> like, y'all can actually move around. I'm literally stuck inside my apartment in my area, my general area. I am stuck. I can't go... I can't even go five minutes up the street. Like I'm just stuck. All right, I'm I'm is ready it, to go. Is that why? They hit them. Uh, is it, is it bad there? Is that why? Uh, they say my area where I live is um is bad, but I think it's like one building that have the cases. But in order to prevent it from spreading, they just said, you know, we're gonna lock down all of the residential area. Um, okay. just in case to, you know, keep people from fraternizing and shit like that. Because, you know, as you know, the people who are sick, they don't really give a damn. They, oh, I'm sick. You're going to be sick too. Like it is what it is. So, um, yeah. Uh, so I, I pretty much just stick inside, man. And, um, I got coworkers who don't live in my area that can drive and bring us, you know, the groceries that I request, you know, um, sending the money for it and they go to the store and get it and drop it off. So, I mean, I'm able to do it like that. Um, as far as food, uh, got plenty of water, but I'm just, I'm about tired of being inside this apartment and just doing, I'm playing a whole lot of video games and watching a whole lot of shows. So I'm catching up on shit that I, I fell behind on. Um, but yeah, man, I'm just, I'm about tired, bro. I ain't never missed work so much in my life. Not but it's a good speak. thing. It's a good thing. You've been, you remember you were the MC for all these, uh, events that y'all had. Mm -hmm. So yeah. all your coworkers like you and love you. So you can call any one of them up and get you to uh, bring something, right? Yeah. Well, as long as they don't live in this area, if they live inside these gates, then they got the same issue. Um, but what, that's how stupid it is. Um, they opened up a little makeshift grocery store inside the quarantine zone mm -hmm. for everybody to be able to come through. How is that helping prevent the spread? If you got everybody in the hot zone coming to the same centralized location mm -hmm. to buy groceries, I don't trust the nigga next to me. I don't trust the woman on my right. So why would you put everybody in the lockdown, in, in the lockdown zone in the same supermarket and say, yeah, go get your groceries? I That's could walk in there not sick and then come out with a whole coronavirus six pack. You know what I'm saying? That's so, why they got locked down from the general public because y'all um gonna be sacrificial lambs. Hey, I see my I'm saying right here, I got a mask, I got plenty of gloves, I got the black gloves, uh, you know, the ones that they use for your tattoos. So I'm legit. I'm I'm cool. I'm cooling. I don't bro, I don't even open up the door to the trash chute. Uh, it's outside the building. So when I got to take out trash, I got a glove on for that. You know what I'm saying? Yo, and when I come in, I take the glove off, throw it away, and then I still sanitize my hand. Cause I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, I, it, it, it's terrible, man. It's Yo, terrible. Boogie. Last time we talked, I heard you, you say you was going through movies and stuff. I heard you was on Booty yeah. Talk 13. Have you finished the Booty Talk series yet? Oh, I'm up to 65. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jasmine, <laughs> people booty talk. Dwayne, can you explain to you? don't know booty talk? <laughs> you never seen booty talk? Oh, my God. Little mama. You don't even understand what you're talking about. She don't understand. So. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah okay, this is a collective series of um, talented female arts. individuals. 
Yeah, mm-hmm. performing arts. And um, I, I kid you not, this is when I found one of my favorite girls during that time frame, Ayana <laughs> Angel. Oh my God. No, what? Like, oh my God. Like, let me watch Quarantine Radio and I was like, what the heck is this? Oh yeah. It's coming back this week. Quarantine. It's coming back, it's coming week. back this week. Yeah. Quarantine. Yeah. He said all he need was a hundred thousand comments. There was like six hundred K up yeah. in there. So yeah. it's definitely coming back. Oh that quarantine radio. Bro, bro, I was working with it. I was working. I'm sitting there typing. I was like, dang, I just got the notification. All right, so he he, he doing quarantine. So I was like, all right, I flipped mm-hmm. it on. Jasmine was in the living room. I was like, hey Jasmine, check, you know, check out Tory Lane's page, whatever. I'm watching it while I'm typing and working and everything. I'm looking to the side. I'm like, Okay, okay. And I just ended up stopping working. I'm like, what, what is it? I thought it was actually going to be some content. It was content. It was content. It is content. <laughs> it, it is. It is. It was all. It was, it was lit. It was lit. It was lit. It was lit. Mike Tyson came through that like, moment. y'all bored for real. No, oh, man. Nah. Everybody was there. Everybody was there. Yeah. I was yeah. no longer bored on quarantine yeah. radio. Yeah. Right, Shout out to Tory Lanez. Um, I'm sorry to make such a quick left. Um, and damper the party for a little bit, but I got a couple of RIPs. Uh, Fred the guy, son. I don't know. Thank if y'all you. Know. I just want to see if you're gonna pay respect to the one that really matter. Fred well, the guy. I, God. Everybody God. matter, but one that resonate for me because I was gonna touch that one if you didn't. I was okay. really about to get into that one. So yeah, Fred the guy, son, for sure. I want to send an RIP to him. Um, exactly. Greg is not on the podcast this week. He said his cousin um, passed. Um, I'm not sure if it's from the COVID or not, but they they putting everybody that died right now under COVID. So I'm going to just put that, um, say RIP to him too, and send our well wishes to Greg. Um, all right, all right. I know that's some bullshit. Um, right, so bullshit. I just wanted to take the time to say RIP to Fred, the guy's son, and Greg's cousin. Okay. Uncle. Uncle. His uncle. My bad. My bad. My no, no, no. Bad. I said I. Like, uh, her, her, her uncle was murdered a couple of days ago. Okay, man, he brought murder in here too. Uh, right? uh, <laughs> Cozy uh, wasn't enough. He brought murder in here, man. Ain't no, ain't no laughing matter, but God damn. Probably good though. Today, Papa birthday, so we'll, we'll yeah. celebrate. Send the prayers to her too as well. We're not laughing about it. It's a serious matter. You know what I'm saying? Shout out. Any more death we want to talk about before we get into something a little more lighter? Speak once. Gone, gone, gone. Okay. Um, my brother. Damn, she, she. We just finished, and she said somebody else. Who else died? What's the football cowboy um football player's brother? Uh, Prescott. Jason Prescott. Jace Prescott. Jason Prescott. Jason Prescott. Brother. Dad, uh, the quarterback. Dad, yeah, Dak Prescott, brother. Because <coughs> yeah. you know, yeah. um, he got uh arrested because he threw one uh, party during coronavirus. Shut down. Man. So thank you, Jasmine. I was just about to turn back to Sorry. the light side, but thank you for the the more death. Um, but RIP to him as well. I think I'm the wrong nigga to be giving RIPs. It seems it seems <laughs> <laughs> see, I feel it feeling unsensitive, but I don't mean it to be that way. <laughs> for real. <laughs> I mean all the RIPs that's out there. Trust me. All the RIPs that's out there. <laughs> Dude, you know, stop. I, I, I've been drinking now. Come on now. now who do you? Hey, put him on the camera, man. I need nah, man. Cry. She don't want to be on the camera right now, man. It's I cool. need her to cry this a little more. Anyway. Okay. We, we got our serious mode out the way. Let's go back. <laughs> that means we, a serious one. Okay? Like, that's serious that's mode. That's the prayer <laughs> hands. We're going to go back. Okay. We got the, the recap of the verses. We had the Teddy Riley versus Babyface recap. Just real quick, I want to know your feelings on it. I know Chris probably didn't watch it. Um, Cody and Jasmine, did y'all watch it? Nah, I skimmed through it. I, I didn't okay. watch it. Bam, y'all off. Um, Booker. Yo. What's happening, Book? I know you've seen Teddy Riley and Babyface, Bill. Let me know how you yeah. feel about it. Of course I did, man. You know what I'm saying? They missed you know one of the I best feel. verses of all time. You know how I feel. You know how, how, you how feel? I feel. How you feel? I, I feel like the the selection that I made was well warranted. Mm-hmm. Um, now, what I will tell people is, you know, I tried to get in there when it was going down, and I 
France can attest to this. I sent numerous messages in the group me directly, and I'm like, bro, is your shit working? Because it kept freezing on me, you know, and I, I didn't understand why. So, you know, Swizzy told me to sign in on the laptop. You know what I'm saying? Well, I don't got the laptop. I want to come in. Well, look at my godson. He's going to fuck uh. you up, Chris. <laughs> So, look at him, he had flex. <laughs> He's trying to stay walking around the house like he ready to throw hands on you at any moment. <laughs> Keep trying to walk Carissa know, like at any moment, these hands are going. <laughs> oh, man. Boy, Chris better wear his nicotine patch. He don't want no smoke. Uh, not at all. No What's wrong Keisha? with you? So... Uh, what was it though? Um, no, so like I said, I think it was well warranted, and um, you know, by the time I finally got in there, um, it was still like a little choppy and freezing on my side, so I was like, you know, I'll just wait. So I was able to, you know, catch the IG live, and I'm uh, not gonna lie, uh, Teddy came out, uh, he came out on five, guns are blazing. Mm -hmm. And as much as I love Babyface, man, I, I gave the first three to Teddy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I couldn't do nothing about that. But, um. But didn't, don't Babyface have Corona? So maybe that's what. He don't Teddy. have no Corona. He ain't got no Corona, <laughs> man. <laughs> I be hating on my book. But, that don't mean you can't press play on a song. Like, what that mean? <laughs> but, you know, I, I truly appreciate what them brothers did. Um. On the IG live, I had a 6-6 six, six by the time it ended. Um, and then I was informed that, you know, after it shut down, they went to their individual pages and kept going. But I didn't see that to finally to actually like pick a winner. But while they were both joined um, on the same channel, I had a 6-6. Six, six. Um, so I don't know tires, how it turned out. You, you I don't know how tires. it turned out. You had the huh? other one's tires? Because they, they played 18, I believe. So you had the rest tires on under six six and the rest what six six, that's twelve. That was the yeah. first. That was the first. So I got through uh twelve songs, okay. twelve tracks that they did, uh, mm -hmm. for it to be six six. Um, so whatever they did on the individual pages, I didn't catch, but mm -hmm. you know, I was thoroughly entertained, man. And I wanted to give, I wanted to give Babyface <laughs> the one where that boy pulled out the guitar and started mm -hmm. singing on them boys. Mm -hmm. uh, I said that boy good, but. I forget what track he went up against. Was it? I don't know if it was Keith Sweat to make it last forever. I think it was. I think it yeah, was. I couldn't. I couldn't give him that. I'm sorry, bro, because that that <laughs> Keith Sweat boy. Make it last. Whoa! Ooh. No, I, I can't. I can't. I can't. I, can't. I said no. Nah, Keith Keith Sweat got that one, boy. Keith Sweat mm -hmm. got that one. So um, it was just thoroughly entertaining, man. It. I didn't like how Teddy Riley was moving though when uh, he played the Michael Jackson one though. You know what I'm talking about? What, what song was that? That jam? Yeah, no, 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 no. Um, what, keep one? it in the closet. Oh, okay. Like the boy was moving a little bit, and you could tell he got that Beijing all up in his shit, bro. He just looked weird as fuck to me, man. I no. don't know. I'm wrong with Teddy. Carlos Miller said <laughs> he hold his beard on with Magnus. <laughs> she said he just flicked that thing off. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. hey, man. Hey, nobody fooling with Carlos, man. <laughs> Yo, I hey, agree Carlos. With you. I agree Carlos with you. and Chico, I'm good, Chico. I ain't got what you got. That one Let me see. Let me see. You got. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yours, yours ain't as bad as just them. No, nah, you got that. Hold it down. I'm even, bro. I'm even. Hold you heard? I'm just back a little bit. <laughs> hold it down. Hold it down. I just no, I'm trying. No, nah, you can pull that off. You can come back with that. I'm good, bro. <laughs> I, I, brother. I told you now. I'm getting the, the Tory Lanes, and then I'm going on Quarantine Radio. I'm coming up about that far. Nah, I'm you coming up about that go. far. You, you know what I'm talking about? Go. I didn't know. I didn't. I thought it. Was, I thought it was bad, bad. No, nah, I told y'all. It's just you know the the mm -hmm. recession. Yeah. Nah, you. It, that ain't that bad. That ain't that bad. Yeah, just the receding of it. That's that's it, man. Other than that, I'm cool. I'm not like you know, bald here and that, you know what I mean? Like some other people that I've seen like that, but mm -hmm. it's just, I was like, you know, I'd rather not. I just, you know, I just take it off. Yeah. 
Yo, Book, I, I actually agree everything you're talking about with the verses, man. I, I just thoroughly enjoyed yeah. it. I'm glad both of them got their props, man. Everybody got their respect. So. They showed the numbers of streaming doubled and tripled. I, I'm just right. happy everybody going to enjoy their music and everybody getting off, um, getting a win in that. Um, anybody else that y'all right. want to see on verses? Because they've been talking man. about all these potential verses. Any I want to see of? Jermaine Dupree. I want to see him. I want to see somebody. I, Diddy, don't be no bitch. Step up to the plate, man. Hold Step up. up to the plate and go Diddy, again, Diddy, JD. Diddy, want, Diddy and Dre. Diddy and Dr. Dre is what's on the table right now. Landslide. See, I don't want that. Landslide. I, I don't want that. I wanted to leave from the producers, and I'd rather go, like, verse for verse. And it, it, it had to be extended beyond, like, 20 yeah, of them. Verse for verse. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd like to see, like, verse for verse. Like, I want to see the rappers actually jump into it. They, they, they no, have right? Because we always have arguments over who's the best rapper, who has, who spits the best six. We already know who that is. Man, whatever. Not, <laughs> not to you, I, but since you brought that up, did you see I – didn't, I didn't post this one. Did y'all see it on Joe Budden's IG or Rory Mall? Any of them? I watched it. It was uh, the mixtapes. And Wayne waxed fabulous. Wayne. I no. didn't even see it. Yes, he I, did. Oh, no. <laughs> it I didn't close. see it. I didn't, I didn't I get to watch it. it. I okay, saw no, it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> but this the thing. This the thing. You got yeah. just because you from NY, don't mean that you solidified to pick those five tracks. You gotta find somebody like me. I'm the only one who can go through this nigga catalog. Okay, I'm the only it's one. Not about you. This has nothing to do with you, <laughs> bro. Okay, first of all, these are the mixtapes that they play for five. You know the uh, the soul tapes. Okay. Um, you got the, the no competition series and you got, um, summertime shootouts, but the one that these niggas mix is literally called a mixtape. It's the street dreams mixtape. How you don't play that at a maximum of three, at a maximum of three per per each, per each one. I'm telling you, you should have, they should have hit me up and let me pick the tracks that they went against. Part two, part three. Maul don't understand. Maul don't know music like that. Oh, man. Maul don't understand. And I, I'm, dis, I'm disappointed. You know what? If anything, uh, Joe should have picked Fab's cuts. No. Yes, because they was all Desert Storm at one time. And Joe Budden was on some of those popular tracks that Fab did. Brother, God could have picked, right. picked some of them tracks and it would have ended up the same. No, now you know what I'm saying? Y'all just southern niggas. That's all it is. That's Lil like Wayne, he's not uh, he's not better than Lil Wayne. Wayne. Let's be nah. honest, man. But I'm not anyway. thinking about y'all. No, Fab got a better collage, okay? Let, let, let me let's keep on going because we're gonna be at this battle forever. Yeah, um, that'll be another one. That'll be another one. Did y'all see the did y'all see any highlights in the NFL draft? I know you know that's going on right now. Did y'all see that? I saw, I saw a couple. You saw a couple about to go cowboys, huh? Shout out to them boys, baby. No, Shout out to them boys. I want to focus in on. I don't know if y'all seen this, but um, they had a they had a guy. I'm gonna actually play the video in here, but they had a guy. He um he just found out he got picked, drafted to who who he got drafted to? The Cowboys. No, what he he wasn't the Cowboys, not him. Yes, he was. No, he was the Cowboys. <laughs> not, I'm not talking about that one. Um, he just found out he got drafted. I think it was the Lions. He got found out he got to the Lions. Um, he started crying, oh, and his girlfriend. Started hugging him. His his, oh, his yeah. girlfriend happened to be Caucasian. Yeah, yeah. yeah and his that. mama let it slide for about five seconds. But you ain't just gonna be in the camera. Still mama still had to slap her up. Get your ass about the camera. Trying to stay in the yeah. Yeah, he try, he trying to clout chase. Yeah. Mama got that ass up out of there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So hey, post that link. Post that link so I can serve jazz. It's yeah, right. It's on the group me. I already posted it in the group. It's right in there. It's all right in the group. I saw yeah. that too. People, people have been going in on another one. The guy CD, I believe CD that went um that to the boys. Cowboys. Yes, um, everybody been talking about that one a little bit more because he snatched his phone from his girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? Like, what are you doing? doing that. She what said his doing agent that? was calling, but it's like, what are you doing? I can't talk to them. I'm talking to my boss right now. What is you doing? So, we, so far, on the first night of the draft, we had two violations of people violating, trying to get in the camera, trying to do too much. I don't really fault CD's girlfriend as much as I as, as I fault the white girl because my oh. man had to scoop her up out of there. <laughs> Away from his girl. 
that's been going on too. Yeah, you so. seen, oh, the one with CD uh, taking the phone back. Yeah, CD took the phone back. I, I wasn't really too worried about that one. The nah, white girl was, getting pushed out the way, that was hilarious, boy. That, that, that was, was fun. That, he kind of looked at her, too. But then the mom kind of gave a side eye, too, though. Mm-hmm. He saw the mom. She was like, what you think you doing? Mama was <laughs> ready to throw hands, though. Mama yeah. wasn't playing. Mama was keeping it cool. Mama was how, keeping it How you react, But You out there. It's draft night. Your girlfriend trying to give you a little hug. And then you see your mama sling her out the way. What you do? Huh. Thanks, mama. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? First of all, this is my moment. Okay? I don't see all, all up in the videos. Did he even see you? No, he did. Yeah, he did. I don't need you all up in the videos. Play your part. You just here. You just Dang. here. You you here to show your face as part of my support system. They ain't even got to know your name. Then why would okay? you? This is my moment. I don't want it to be forever shared with oh, like anybody. That, like that, then why she ain't there in the first place? Because you a girlfriend. Play your role. Is sit back. Should... Sit y'all back. Can't have a, y'all can't have a, a, a sibling, I mean, a, a couple fight in the middle while you're talking. We can't hear everybody I'm at the sorry, same I'm time. Sorry, I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? Sorry. Y'all, y'all messing I'm up sorry. my production. I'm sorry. But you need to just sit back and clap. She talking about why you there in the first place. To be there and be happy for what I, I've accomplished. I made it to the NBA. Well, and you are. Okay. You weren't with me shooting in the gym. <laughs> Him. She's in his lap and taking up seventy five percent of the camera view. But how did she get in his lap in the first place, right? Because she sat. She, she just sat. came over. She just came over no, and go to group me and play the video for her. So Dad, we can see how flagrant this was. Already in his lap. No, she came over. That she that video over. started right then. But yeah. they, when they, when, oh. when they she came over and sat on him when they cut to him. Okay. He saw that they went to the, they went to his house and she went over there and sat on his lap. She just wanted that shine. She wanted and to be in the video. They was telling they was telling C D to dump his girlfriend. If anybody has to dump his girlfriend today, it's old dude that went to the Lions. Your mama don't like her. Like she yeah, got to go. Gone, gone now, baby. Gone she now. Got to go. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. But anyway, well, I just wanted to highlight those. Miss Shout out I to thought the boys, that, I thought man, those we to win the championship this year. Fuck y'all talking about. Who? Super Bowl bound. You know who. Y'all do who that every year. We them boys. The Cowboys do this shit every year. This is so irritating. God. God. <laughs> hey, I'd rather do that every year than get cheated every fucking year. Mind your yeah. business. You right. All right, then. You we, right. we going to the chip. We okay. going, we know it ain't going to be Houston, though. That's all we going to know. Oh, wow. I bet. I bet my oh, life, wow. I so bet good. my life's income, the rest of my life, that Houston don't make it to the Super Bowl this year. Oh, you said this year, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I, I was wondering where. Uh-huh. <laughs> look, look, I'm going to say, as a friend, I'm going to say we are not honoring that bet, even if they do win everything. It's football. Anybody can win. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We. I ain't gonna Honestly, we shouldn't have beat the Colts that year. We won, but fuck it. We won. I you know what I'm talking about? Anybody can win. Any give it Sunday. I take 25%, bro. 25. <laughs> I appreciate That's you, it. man. Don't have me as out here, bro. Little, when little man get through school, I cut it off, man. You, you got to argue. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. You got to argue. I can work with that. I can work with that. For real man. talk. Shout out to everybody. I know y'all see me at home with my, my glasses on. You know what I'm saying? Book came <laughs> up with a good tantalizing topic that we started off with. Oh, um, okay. And I had to put on my therapist glasses. I know y'all see me. Um, so, book, you go ahead and go. That's why we got right. we got the women on here because we want to get their opinion okay. as well. You know what I'm saying? So, right. book, go ahead and go ahead and take it. All right, uh, let's let's get to it. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, uh, it's the MVP hour. So, what I would like to talk about and discuss with you guys is a topic that I brought up before on a previous podcast. Um, it wasn't quite so long then, but as I am having to, uh, you know, reannounce this, clearly it's just been ongoing for my boy. Um, won't divulge any names. This is a safe haven. My guy, okay? Uh, close partner of mine, you know what I'm saying? I consider him one of my best friends. Him and his lady have been dealing with some issues, you know, uh, they've been married for about five years now, six, possibly, 
from, I guess, whenever I told you guys about last time. But anyway, uh, they have had no sex in their marriage um, for the past 22 months. Fuck it. We just going to say two years. Okay. Two years, no sex, uh, no intimacy. Intimacy, I mean, uh, kissing, anything like that. Okay. No booty rub? I don't know. That's I get. I'm, I'm gonna just go when he say intimacy and no sex. That's what I'm gonna say. I ain't gonna be like, hey, my brother. So you you still grabbing titties? Palm and ass? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like that's not my place to to ask that type of question. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna just leave it as kissing and hugging stuff like. Well, I guess hugs is natural, but you know, kissing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, physical intimacy. Um, for two years, um, they still do not lay next to each other they're in uh separate bedrooms um obviously they still you know live in the same house still you know take care of their responsibilities together it's just that uh their marital situation is very distant um uh one of the things i've already kind of indicated to him what he needs to do um for himself you know what i'm saying um whether he you know he's the advice that i've given him (laughs) Or, you know, he decides to do something else. You know, bless you. Um, I think it was a sneeze. <laughs> so, um, tell her, don't come on the podcast with that corona. Shit. You, know <laughs> man? you better hold that sneeze in next time, goddamn. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't want to let so, him know. <laughs> so, the question is, you know, um, is that acceptable? Um, and, okay, I'll put it like this if cheating is not the reason, do you fathom that being acceptable or or not? And if it is acceptable, what other reasons outside of cheating would that be justified? Cheating on wh- whose behalf? Either party. Either party. Okay. Either party. But that's what I'm saying. Like, if in their case, it's not, you know, it's not that. So if it's not cheating, what other reason could justify you in a marriage, not having sex with your husband or your wife for nearly two years? Well, I mean, of course, if it's an abusive situation, I mean, it has to be extreme for me not to touch my husband for two years, right? Outside of that, I don't think that it's fair to be in a marriage or even a relationship for that matter and go that long without having sex. I might rebuttal. Because I remember when we first got in our relationship, it had been probably less than a year and you were all cool with having sex. But then it came to a point to where uh, one of my close roommates, his girl gave him an ultimatum and said, either we make it official. Okay, so that was different because, no, because she felt like, because sometimes when you get in a relationship with someone and you're not married to them and you give up, you, she was doing everything like she was washing this man's clothes for him as a girlfriend and she was basically being a wife before getting the ring and she felt like he wasn't taking her serious so she felt like she had to hold back some things but you pulled that same thing against me didn't you did i yes i think i'm telling you did you pulled that same thing against me i had to Make it quote unquote official. I had to have the promise ring and all that stuff. I had to call like, Franz. Oh I had to call Franz, no, and Franz laughed at me God. because I told Franz. I said, "Yeah, this yeah, might be the one." So we, so we didn't have sex, Cody. Are you kidding me? I mean, it took me. It took me like two, three times, Jasmine. And that ain't that ain't my stilo. That's not <laughs> the initial. Yes. Remember, I took you to Red Lobster. Okay. I took you to Red Lobster. This dude talked about. He didn't want a girlfriend, right? Okay, mm-hmm. so you don't have a girlfriend. So we just dating, right? So I'm not rushing to be intimate. You know, I don't know if you want me like that. What, what we doing here, right? No, I want you like that. I didn't want you like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it, it, was a it was a different one. But then, so, but then we had sex, what happened? Yeah, we we kind of uncovered something deep, something else in there 
I want to get back to book. Trust me, we're getting back. But she took me on a side path when I was listening to Jasmine about why in the world would she withhold something she's been given the whole time? Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Since you, I've already, I've already had it. I know how it feels. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? How are you going to stop giving it to me all of a sudden now and thinking well, I'm going to change? Well, well, when a man doesn't take you serious after you get, like they said, why buy the cow if you've already experienced the milk, right? So that's how she felt. She felt like he wasn't going to move forward because he was already getting everything. Yeah, but I'm already getting it. You gonna I'm stop. on your side, Jasmine. I'm on your side. I don't know what they're advocating around here. I don't know what y'all talking about. I, I, I don't know what y'all talking about. I'll leave it alone. I'll leave it alone. Let's get back. I'm on back Jasmine's here. side. I'll, boy, when y'all hear y'all selves right here. No, my, oh, my yeah, thing I'll, is, look, listen. Not, I'm taking it for myself. Me and my wife, she's been giving it to me forever. And okay. all of a sudden, you're trying to give me an ultimatum. Like, whatever. I'm sorry. I, I'm I'm going to pop the glasses on and say, you know who I am? You don't but think you know, I could go out there and go get some? Like, what the hell is wrong with you? She, what, what? She, bring it up, she bring it up the marriage. This is before marriage. Like, you bringing that to me whenever I've got, already gotten it from you. You know I can get it but from you, all these other women out here. The thing is, though, you know the, you know the depth of that relationship. He was very disrespectful to her. Who? Like, very disrespectful to her. Who? Oh, you talking about uh, that situation? I don't say the man name. Don't no snitch on the man. Uh, no, no. Okay. <laughs> Cody's about to die. Oh, oh, it, oh that uh, 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 yeah. Shane. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You right. Wait, wait right. Then. Let's leave it all alone. He was disrespectful, so he he was an asshole. So okay, go back to book question. Go go ahead. Go ahead and answer that. Yeah. Oh, I mean, answer it. Into two years that I already chimed in on it. Yeah. Kim. No, I mean, honestly, I, it's the same. I feel the same way Jasmine does. I mean, it's un, if in a marriage, especially, I feel like that would be unfair. Unless there's like something physically wrong with her, I don't feel like that would be fair. Unless, or she could be scared to, you know, tell the truth. Like maybe she doesn't like it or doesn't like the way, you know, her husband does it. I don't know. But for me, <laughs> that's just that's just way 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 too long so i mean i it could be for a woman i think it's either one of two things either something physically is wrong or she doesn't like it that woman doesn't like it and maybe it's just not doesn't have the right words to tell her partner what's going on or how she likes it or why she doesn't like a certain thing there could be trauma from childhood there could be all kinds of things but when a woman doesn't want to have sex is normally tied to something emotional for us let me ask another question then to both of you all just thinking on another situation of one of my partners um let's say she was possibly um she hadn't had sex before until she got married and so that was the first time she had sex and it was uncomfortable uncomfortable to her and so she didn't want to do it anymore <clears throat> but she got married and she did it the old school way of not experiencing sex prior to uh, marriage and she doesn't like it and she doesn't want to do it anymore just shrugged the shoulders like nah that's not something I want to do mm-hmm. do you think that's ex- is that acceptable nope. <laughs> no it's not I don't think it's fair I really don't especially in a marriage so unless you have explored every avenue so if it wasn't comfortable the first time I mean most women's first time is not going to be comfortable that's just not going to be a pleasurable experience but so, after so the- a while I thought the first time was going to be uncomfortable no matter what. It is. That's what I just said. For the for a woman's first time is going to be uncomfortable because okay. if you've never you, we all know anatomy, we're all grown people. But right. if, if after that if that woman is not willing to even talk to her partner and say, "Okay, this is how it felt. Now let's explore some ways on how it could feel better." Cuz there are all kinds of things you can do to make it feel better. So if she just said after one time, like, I'm done, I don't think that's fair unless you've explored every avenue. Or it could be that that woman, she may have realized, you know, she might be a eunuch. Eunuchs don't, you know, they don't like the pleasure of sex. And that's a real thing. So unless it's that, I think she should she should have at least explored the avenues of, you know, trying to make it feel better. But I'm not an advocate of a woman doing anything that does not make her feel comfortable or does not make her feel good no matter what, but you should be open, especially in a marriage, to exploring 
what makes that's what that's part of intimacy is exploring what your husband or what your wife or your partner feels right. and what feels good to each other that's part of the fun is exploring that part of it so i i just i don't think that's fair yeah no i get you i get you and that's um that because I, I i'm i'm thinking about all aspects of this you know what i'm saying i'm not trying to put it on the woman or the man i'm just trying to see where uh difficulties or issues could lie within between the two so um yeah what you what you, what you guys say cp what you think about this uh i think it's a a deeper issue maybe that's not being revealed you know what i'm saying i think uh two years yeah, I'm kind of thinking. I'm kind of thinking like you know, is she not having sex even with herself for two years? This that's because that's there's something deeper than that, man. Uh, somebody's not being honest, completely honest about the situation. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't think any sane person can be in a situation like that unless they're practicing like abstinence or it's in their religion or whatever the case is. Um, doing it on purpose. Doing it on purpose. If it's malicious and intentional. Nah, there's something, something wrong with that, you know what I'm saying? So I, I think it's deeper. I think it's if she or he don't want to be with or she, she's not the one putting out, right? Yeah. Sure. It, yeah, she, yeah, she clearly is either turned off, maybe there's somebody else and she don't know how to move on because uh, she's with her comfortable shoe. Uh, there's a number of things, man, but I, I ultimately just think it's something deeper. You don't just shut it down and not have it without it not being something. You know what I'm saying? Before you get into a marriage, before you get into a marriage, you you pretty much know what you're getting into for the most for the most part. Cause hey, we all miss. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, they, there's no there's no SOP or, or a guideline that's a marriage what you're going on day to day. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, I be like, oh shit, you know, I still find stuff out. Like, okay, uh huh, yep, mm hmm. How long we been together? <laughs> okay, um, so we still learning. You know, it's a learning process, even now. Yeah. But for the most part, when you decide, I think most people when they decide they want to take that step, jump that broom, you know what you're getting yourself into. Yeah. And you speaking strongly, you speaking strongly on the the um, I guess the millennial version of a marriage, though, because I'm still I'm still reverting back to. Okay, you're marrying a virgin. Maybe you're a virgin as well. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, I'm going back to that. You saying I don't? What, what are you saying? I mean, what the hell are you talking about, nigga? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 y'all look at me. Y'all look at me. Think about when Chris was saying, you know what you're getting uh, into. I couldn't hold it. I couldn't hold it no more. I, <laughs> For somebody who hasn't had sex before, you don't know what you're, they don't know what they're getting into. Is that what you meant? Okay, hold on. <laughs> Let me turn my volume up. Okay. Y'all laughing at me or y'all laughing at Cody? I'm laughing at Cody. Cody. Okay. Laughing at Cody. What is that, y'all? don't know. Cody, put him glasses up. Yeah, you responding to the millennial <laughs> version of a marriage. I was like, nigga, what is this nigga talking about? No. <laughs> can y'all let me explain? Can y'all let me explain? <laughs> See? That's what I'm fooling. My bad. Go ahead. My bad. Go ahead. That's Go ahead. What clarify about. what you're saying, bro. Go clarify. What I'm saying is... Uh, so I thought we was going off a books question. <laughs> no. What I'm saying is... Exactly. Exactly. answer, though. A millennial version of a marriage is you, you expect a be able to engage in uh, premarital sex. That's okay. in no, I'm saying a millennial marriage, you definitely get prepared to engage in. Pre right. Am I not right? So let's say she has old school values and she doesn't want to have sex prior to marriage. And so when she has sex, we're not talking about prior to marriage. We're talking about marriage now. They're already married. They're already, they're already they're had already the ceremony. Married. We're not talking about do you expect to have sex before yeah. marriage or anything like that? We talking about <laughs> they not having sex in the marriage. In the marriage.
Hey, they didn't already commit it. In the marriage. Cody be sipping. I'm telling you, Cody be sipping some time. He be like, ah. Uh, Cody, I got what you trying to say. I think I got Cody put them glasses up. He said, so you talking about the pre-marital of no, the no, millennials. So like, no, no. <laughs> Give me 15 seconds. <laughs> Give me 15 seconds. Okay, 15 seconds. Go ahead. Bam, clock me in. What I'm saying is, if she's not prepared to go into the marriage to give regular sex, then she's not going to give regular sex. She gets into the marriage and doesn't like sex. She's not going to have sex continuously. Okay, this is not regular sex. This is not having sex at all for two straight Correct. Days. So she's not doing sex because she doesn't like the way it feels the first time because she never had it before. Well, we're, that's your example. That's not his example. I get it, but I'm throwing that out there because <laughs> it has to be different what? dynamics to this situation, right? Nah, we we nah. This brother right here need to need to need to help you bring it to something else. What the hell are you oh, talking oh, about? Oh, because y'all sleep. Y'all need to be. <laughs> oh my lord. Okay. Sleep Jesus. <laughs> my bad. Chris gave his explanation. Oh. I, I'm gonna just say my explanation is it really don't matter what the explanation is. I I totally feel like. He went way too long without having no ass. Um, I'm prepared to go a solid, unless you have like a problem with you, I'm prepared to go possibly. <laughs> don't laugh when I say this. Slap him, slap him, Kim. Two, three weeks. That's too long. That's almost a How month. Many? How many? Two, three weeks, nigga. <laughs> like, hey, okay, you might be bleeding hard. You're bleeding hard. Okay, my bad. Maybe something happened with the bleeding, the blood, and, oh, and maybe it need to clot a little bit before it stops or something like that. I don't know. You got a solid three weeks, and then I'm asking questions. <laughs> what no. the fuck going on? Oh, After you three weeks, that you ask questions, but you you gonna go for you you can go without for long. No, I can't. Ask her. No. You had a baby, bro. No, bro, I can't go. That long. Me, but man. she had a baby. You had to wait, bro. There's other ways to get it. <laughs> Well, if you're doing that, then okay. But I'm just saying, she gonna be out of commission. You have she had a baby. You know what I'm saying, bro? It's other ways. It's other ways to go ahead and get right, brother. Bro, I'm telling you right. I'm telling you right now. It's, it's other ways. I got a solid three weeks in me of understanding. <laughs> After those three weeks of understanding happen, you got a solid. That's strong, bro. <laughs> I, and and to be honest, Cody go back seven days. He ready to divorce me? <laughs> well, no, look, no, and this look, ain't. And you still, yeah, right. this ain't about <laughs> sex. Like, even a, re even a release, like, you can just, you you know what I'm saying? You can go on Cody, some. Cody, I'm not going to lie. Action. I got, it, 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 like, we had sex last night. I got until tonight. Unless I'm playing the video game, I need to know what's happening. On the podcast, what's happening tonight? <laughs> you going to put it on. <laughs> what's happening? Hey, you look at him with the Denzel glasses. You look at him My bad. I was supposed to be helping this nigga out. Um, <laughs> he, he, he went way too damn long, man. I couldn't do it. I, I, I respect him for the self-control and the discipline. I would have been right. hitting up somebody else. I'm not going to lie. Nah, I nah, been, nah, I nah, been I doing it. I ain't going to say that. I ain't going to say that much. No, I, I'm going to say it. How you, nah. how you going to stop what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm saying that, yes. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, look, I he him being faithful over that time, that's commendable. It is. That's oh, yes, it's commendable. I, I said it's commendable. I respect him for his longevity and everything. And see, we, we we had that conversation a couple of podcasts back too. So that, that's yeah, but that's, me, I'd have been in some guts right now. I'd have been in something. I'm like, oh man, you know what? They just had a new mail truck come in. I'm gonna do a little night run. I'm gonna go deliver some mail. By two, three hours, I'll be back. And then I come on back. That's what I would have did. That's me personally. I can't do and, no two years. And then there, there was France on the night of April. What is it? Twenty <laughs> April twenty fourth. He laid right there dead because yeah, he I mean, just hey, died. No. Hey, hey, he's striving for that Will and Jaden, man. What you talking about? <laughs> I'm striving for it. Yeah, hey. I told. I I still had a serious talk with my wife, like we had on the podcast about that Will and Jaden type love. I got yeah. that. But we're going to have an understanding. If you ain't giving it to me, I think my wife know. If she ain't giving it to me for uh, two years, nigga, I'm getting it from somewhere. That's just true. Like, come on. I yeah, mean, two, two, not, years, two years is long, man. Two, two years is a long ass time, man. But no, but I, I really, I, man, <coughs> I really want to have some actual uh, 
some some solid and some meaningful advice to actually give back to this guy, man. So I don't want to be playing around. So let's let's round it up with some some advice. They, but he got some good advice. I think the women gave him some great advice about um about maybe something's going on deeper. And I, I like what Chris came. I, if you get put it all together, it's some solid <clears> advice. <throat> if you want the real from France, nigga, I would have been fucking on. Ain't nobody I'm asked for real. No, that ain't that ain't. Yeah. That ain't, that, don't, that, don't, that ain't what they need, man. How you discredit my advice, nigga? I don't care. Look, this is what I'm giving. I don't care what you need. I'm, this is what I'm giving. But you can go ahead and take it from here, man. You know what I'm saying? This nigga going to discredit that, my man. advice. But don't he, tell that man that, you know, the millennials right now, they, um, they fucking at a rate that we can't, we can't get to. It's serious out here with these millennial sexing. Really? Now we talking and, about millennials? No, no I'm talking about Cody. They plugging in. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, about, go ahead, boy. Can't, let me see. Well, that's all good. So what I don't advice did you, huh? you give him? I'm, I'm about to, that's what I'm about to do right now. Um, in summary, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean that everybody's situation has to be two years. I think um a month is way too long without intimacy. I, I think that should be the limit unless, you know, especially if y'all are still in within the same household. All right now, if y'all are like doing like a legal separation and you know you're here, you're there, then okay, that could go several months before y'all actually get back. You know what I mean? Um, but just to be in passing, like that's that's kind of hard for me to see you every day and you just holding out. But that's that. Um, the advice that I gave him is, you know, when it first all started, I just told him, you know, I, I, I know it's hard, man. You know what I'm saying? No pun intended. Um, it's, it's very difficult. Um, but you know, if this is something that you, if she means that much to you, then you have to be willing to endure until, you know, something changes. You see what I'm saying? Um, you can have your conversations and, you know, present, you know, your concerns to her. Um, try not to do it so much with anger or hostility, like actually talk to her. Don't speak to her, talk to her, allow her the chance to, you know, you know, uh, reply and respond and address her cares and concerns as well. So you have to be, it's, it's a revolving door, man. Like you gotta, it has to go out and it has to come in. You know what I mean? It can't just be all about you. Um, and I mean, clearly to no avail. Uh, that bit of advice has not boded well in his case. You know what I mean? Um, I think, you know, just when I talk to him mentally, um, he's good. You know what I mean? And truth be told, um, whatever he's doing is working for him as far. And I was like, well, shit, nigga, you only got five more years until you're born again virgin. Hey, <laughs> you got that going for you. You know what I'm saying? If you can make it. So, um, I, I I don't know, man. Shaquille Sunflower. I don't know. You know what I'm talking about? Navi <laughs> Ramba. Like I don't know. So <laughs> it's 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 very hard. Um, and and I you know I applaud him for his dedication. But I told him at the end of the day, man. I'm like, look, if this is something that I think anybody, man or woman alike, feels is important, not yet alone in a marriage, that that is one of them unspoken agreements that this has to be happening and for it not to be um, just, you might need to reevaluate your situation and your standing of the person that you chose to spend the rest of your life with. Because I'm like, if they can go this long and I'm, I, I was informed as to what the situation is, you know what I'm saying? From him and what he says that she has said as well um, as to where, you know, the rift comes from, um, to me, it ain't that serious. Uh, and, you know, he kind of feels the same, but I, I can't put myself in a situation because it can only sound one way. I'm only getting one side of the, you know, the equation. But if... But what is the riff, though? Um, all right. Well, for her, it's... You, you highlighted something about uh, being disrespectful. OK, um, I don't think it's, you know, I, I know him. Um, 
he has a a nature of the way that he says certain things. It's not like they say a lot, you know, it's not so much what you say, it's how you say it. So the tone can be a little bit, you know, distasteful. And it both, it, it can kind of like teeter on the lines of, you know, you're not respecting me or how could you, you know what I mean? Like, why did you talk to me as if you don't know me type stuff? Um, that's how she's feeling. Um, and after, excuse me, after she told him that, did he try to change it? Yeah. 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 I, it is the, and these are the things that, you know, kind of like put me in a, in a mind space of like, I don't, I'm not understanding. And that's what I was saying, but, like for him. But, but guys do have to understand, because I mean, I had this talk with Cody. Uh -huh. with, women, with women, it's it's emotional, right? It's not, guys, mm -hmm. you got physical, right? You feel it, ready to go, right? But for us, you know, things kind of have to build up. Like with my husband, I kind of wish that, you know, <laughs> he would do more. Cody can't be next to me for too long without wanting to go right in, right? So it's like... He need you need him to finesse a little bit more. Yes, you know, and if she, if you come in the house and you disrespect me or I feel disrespected, mm -hmm. it's done for, right? It's is 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 done. It's more of a even if even if you've done thing. things to where it's leaning more positive than negative, you take one negative aspect of it and it's like I ain't getting no ass because hold, of that. Hold up, hold up, Cody, Cody. Kim you you could be just as suave if you want to be all day long, and you come home and you say one out the way thing that all that suaveness is gone because you you okay. automatically like it just it, <clears throat> it 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 douses the flame quick fast and in a hurry. And that's I know that I know it sounds crazy, but no, it's like, once 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 our headspace ain't there no more, it's like it's almost like pulling teeth to try to get it back. All right, so I don't, I don't ever want to hear y'all say anything to us about anything being um, disrespectful to you all. Whenever we're saying you shouldn't be doing this as a woman and stuff like that, because y'all are doing this as a, y'all doing that as a woman, y'all are holding that back from us. No, it's not about holding it back. No, you are. No, because because you, you were about to no, give it to no, us no, until no. I came home and said, oh, I'm tired. I'm going to put a screen up here every time. I don't know what Cody talking about. I'm going to just flag. What the hell Cody talking about? <laughs> like, what the hell Cody talking about? Like, Cody. I, Throw them Riddler questions up there. The little Riddler question marks. I, 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 I think I, I'm, I'm trying to understand what you're talking about because you making – I know you're making a good battle, but you're not explaining it right. Uh, now, saying, now this, time, this time, I know what Cody's saying. I know what he's okay. alluding to. I'm, I'm, I'm with Cody on this one. Saying, I know what saying. he's alluding to. He just not might be saying it to the masses to where they understand him. No, I'm just saying. I understand yeah. him. So yeah. I know what he's saying. Okay. I know what he's saying. What they're pretty much the saying. Okay, Chris. Is, let's just say Cody had a bad day at work. Mm -hmm. All right. He comes home. And of course, we're we, we supposed to check ourselves at the door. But sometimes, Damn. hey, y'all ought to have. You know what I'm saying? So y'all should be able to hear. Anything that's on our, you know, we, we, we had a bad day. We want to get it off our chest, let y'all know what we feeling, what we thinking. And it might project on y'all, sadly, but that shouldn't necessarily fuck up what y'all got going on. To, uh, Kim, let me give it to you like this. Let me give it to you like this. Let me, let me, let me paint. Hey, you come at me from the left, that's it. You know, you're <laughs> trying to finesse this, it ain't going there. And I'm like, let me paint this. I'm I can with, still finesse paint this. this. I can still finesse Cody it. comes in. But I'm with Cody because he's saying y'all shouldn't yeah. be like that. Y'all shouldn't be in a frame of mind to where Chris, one thing caused you to just all of a sudden, hey, let I can't go through it. Let you me get him. Let me get him. With your feelings. Let because me get he was just being real about something. And even though it came out the wrong way, now y'all want to hold that against us and not give up the boot. Like, okay. that, that ain't right. Something okay. this small. Go ahead, go ahead, but Please let me get him. Please let me get him, and then Jasmine can reply. So it could be just like this. Cody comes and had a long day, like Chris was saying, all right? He's stressed out, you know, to the max. And you, as my other half, should be able to be able to listen and absorb that negativity and spin it into a positive. Cody could come through the door, suave as he want to be, right, Kim? All day long, sweet talking on the phone, all this good stuff. He comes in. Can't leave his problems at the door. Babe, did you cook? Jasmine. Yeah, baby, I cook. What you cook? 
Spaghetti. <laughs> now, don't say it, Cody. Again? Don't say it, Cody. Don't say it, Cody. <laughs> now, don't say it. <laughs> I, I, we know. I'm just playing the scenario. <laughs> so it's like, damn, again? Like me saying, damn, again, because you cook spaghetti. Now you don't want to give me the booty when I don't lay the groundwork. All day long for the last three days, I've been nothing but top-notch nigga to my queen. And all I said was, damn, again, spaghetti. That's how you feel? Now nah, I can't get none of that pray goo. That's what you tell me. I can't get none of that sauce for my noodle. That's what you tell me. Okay. Okay, let me get y'all okay. a real it, it literally be that petty. I'm going to give y'all a real example. Yeah. <laughs> hold, 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 hold up, Jasmine, before you say so, I could just imagine what Cody be saying, how he was going off on that little bit of rice. Yeah. I, that, that's, that's all I need. It's hard for me to be on Cody's side when he was battling, battling with that little bit of rice. Hey, hey, I, don't, I, don't, I don't need anybody on my side when I'm on the corner. I know rice. I'm right. I know I'm right. I will, I will march to the promise, brother. I will march to the promise. <laughs> go ahead, Jasmine. Go ahead. Go ahead. You good. Go ahead. For example, you know, Cody, when he gets something on his mind, he can't let it go. Mm-hmm. That's fine. That's cool, whatever, right? But so I can let you have your space. You come home, you got something going on, whatever. I try to get in his lap, kiss him. He ain't even trying to mess with me. That's fine. Okay, so when I go in the room, because you know me, I'm, I'm tired. I've been working hard too, right? Working hard all week. I get tired around a certain time. I'm going to sleep. Yeah, about five I came, right? I came to you. I gave you some attention. <laughs> you were in your own feelings. Great. I'm going to go in the room, watch a movie. I'll fall asleep. I'm done. You, you missed, you missed it. You, you, you set the mood right there, right? You heard, you heard the great, you heard the great. That was malicious. She did that. No, it wasn't. She did that on purpose. Malicious. Nah, that it wasn't was, malicious. That great was on purpose. It's not malicious. I'm still it's dealing. I, when you come home, I'm, I'm I'm trying to kiss on you, love you. Still, still, you still. ain't you ain't even asked me how my day was before talking. you jump on me. No, <laughs> no. I call this man. No, I call this man every day when You're I leave. Liar! Like, every day when I'm like, liar! Are you kidding me? When, Cody, I, you kidding when me? I call you and say, "Why didn't you call me?" Oh, because I just had to leave. I had a late meeting. Da 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 da. And I'm still at Cody, work. So when I get here late, you talking about the. 0.05% times. 0.05, you are not a scientist. At this Cody, time. I, I call you every single day and I ask you, how was your day? You no, liar. Tell me, you call me every, every single day? Liar. Okay. You ask me how I, my okay. day is? Kim just say, told you a whole about it. You say one thing and booty gone. No. What you think happened tonight? <laughs> booty gone. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, take that back. She gave me the booty earlier. So oh, okay. So you done? You can talk reckless now. You got it already. <laughs> no, I'm not. Bi- Cody's bipolar. Cody's bipolar. Cody's bipolar. <laughs> All day he texts me, bother me, texting me, right? So I'm bot. So I'm bothering when I text him. You heard that? No, right, right. You cool? You I talk. think we're taking exactly. a lot of time. I think no. we're taking a lot of time. Okay. I think we're taking a lot of time. Oh no, I think this is all no, right. No, we're talking, we're talking, right? No, okay. ask France, France. It's taking a lot of time. Okay. Oh no, I think this is all right. I mean, she can go. She can finish that point. So all day we talking, he's just memes, all kinds of crazy stuff, right? He uh-huh. good, right? I'm saying yes. you nice stuff too, huh? Yeah, we, saying how much I love you. All of a sudden we get No, no. Am I yes, also am yes, I all, Yes. Guess so, what? Guess what? Are you kidding me? I'm asking you a question, so yes. you can guess what? What you supposed to say, dear? I'm also sending you nice <laughs> and, and romantic. <laughs> massa? <laughs> massa? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, what? <laughs> yeah, hold up, hold up. This kind of go into what we talked about last week a little bit. Um, somebody saying something. God. Uh, well, somebody not saying something, but showing it. And this is the reverse. You, you saying stuff like you texting. But when you get home and she want to kiss on what you've been showing, what you've been saying, you're not showing it. Kind of go in the reverse of what we talked about last week. Um, if you, if I'm texting all day that I love you and I can't wait till I get home, and then when my wife comes sit on my lap and start kissing on me, I'll be like, bitch, you ain't even asked me how my week was. 
All them that's not, that's not consistent. Yeah. No, no, that no, no, but opportunity. What I don't know where this is going to lead to. <laughs> no, no. So let me, I'm going to capitalize. Let me, I got a little bit. But let me get a little bit. So what if you say, can you please get off my lap because I got some chicken on the stove for all of us to eat dinner? <laughs> Who does <laughs> that? That bird can burn. Who does that? I got some chicken in the stove. Please get off my lap. Is that no, I ain't got time. I give you about good five minutes. Cool it needs to be extra dry, a little crispy. Yeah, okay. that is that exactly. No, take you're a good actor. Let me see exactly how Jasmine get Put on his lap real quick. I want to see how he says, Um, I got chicken on the stove, get off my lap. I no, got like, literally, literally back up, right? I get on his lap, and he just like, No, no emotions, nothing. Like, and I'm kissing him, no emotions, nothing. I, not into it, nothing. He all in his feelings, whatever. We're gone. Like, nah, Fine. Give, you, give, you, give you a space. That means you ain't trying to mess with me. So when I go in the room and I get to myself and I watch Jasmine, TV, Jasmine I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you a secret. I'm going to give you a secret. This is the first time and the only time I'm going to give a woman a, a, a fire secret. This is what you do. You see how y'all got GR watching that movie in the back? Nice. Cody looking like, listen, listen to what I'm saying, Cody. You tell JR, you, you, Jasmine, you be like, JR, come on in here and put it in this movie. Don't leave this room or I'm going to whoop your behind, whatever. Cody acting all stink. What you do in that moment, you just pull his dick out. That's what you do. You pull it out. Now, whatever you do with it, that's up to you. But you pull it out. I guarantee that frown on his face. I bet he say, fuck that chicken. I bet y'all be ordering some more pizza. But he already screwed up the move, right? No, no. That's when you need to take your womanly powers and say, nah, you ain't going to do this to me. You ain't going to do this to me. When, I, when I'm on your lap, you better rub on his ass. You better squeeze something. And then you say, JR, get your ass in there. And then you go come back in there and you do what your duties is. <laughs> okay, fine. Amen. I wouldn't even advise you to do Fronts, nothing like that. You on nothing Sunday. other sorts. Where can I see you on Sunday? Man, I, I, I'm actually starting the church. I'm not Jazz, going to I'm starting the church I'm, on Sunday. I don't know what kind of advice this nigga here is giving you with the tinted glasses. With clarity, because mine are clear. This is what you do. You could still proceed in those steps and take that approach, but just pull it out and walk the fuck away. Damn, no, he didn't. That's what you do. That's you teach that nigga, nigga lesson. Right there. You teach this nigga a lesson. That's how you do it. <laughs> Okay, this nigga didn't want you then when you was all affectionate with him, right? Okay, you lay the groundwork, set them parameters for JR. You ain't even got to threaten him with the physical. Just tell him, stay his ass up in there. You ain't got to tell him. You ain't got to threaten him with the physical, okay? <laughs> but you tell him to go up in there. If you come out, you ain't going to like what you're going to see. That's what you say. Because mm -hmm. daddy dick going to be out in his lap. You don't want to see that, okay? <laughs> so, you <laughs> that. Yeah, that's that's how that shit happens. Pros on purpose. That's that's you, how you, tell her, you 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 say, baby, let me see a little sound, <laughs> and he lets you. Uh, my stable unconnection. My, now you good? Damn, you I back? You that. back? You back? Okay, I said stable unconnection. God damn it, <laughs> unstable connection. <laughs> bad, bad, bad. I know, right? <laughs> Them bed batteries. Um, so, <laughs> um, back to that. So you know, you pull it out or whatever like that. He gonna smile. I don't know, not one man that has crossed this earth where you can even touch his, be my old lady, okay? Touch his his thing, and a nigga not smile or get happy and think shit about to go down. When this nigga start to feel like that, oh, you're chicken in the oven. Go in your room, go watch a movie, go to sleep. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's I bet that nigga, I bet that nigga, I bet this nigga won't do it again, Jasmine. I bet he won't turn down there another hug just you sitting on his lap ever again in life. Horrible. Cody, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm with Jazz today. I'm sorry. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm with Jazz. Okay. okay. It what is. That's how I'm, just give, I'm just giving Jasmine other options other than that. I get you. I mean, um, to the listeners, you do as you please. You can either yeah, go You do as you please. Sounds the best option. I, I, you know what I'm saying? Cody thought I was coming after him. And, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm trying to help you out. You know, it still is what it is. I got to throw some Thanks. shots at you so she don't see it coming. It's a sneak attack, nigga. Come on now. You know, <laughs> you know what it is. Yeah. Um, so, anyway. So turn around back on y'all, though. But if, if you came to your wife and try to show affection and she kind of gave you the hint, you know, back, back, would you still be in the mood? No. 
Yes. <laughs> right. I'm, it, Fran says, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the problem, no. No, that's the problem. Hell no. We both, we both are up. like that. We both are like that. Like, she'll get caught up in her work like that to where she ain't, she might be thinking about work shit like that. And so I'm coming on to her. She's like, I ain't even thinking about that shit. Da, 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 da. And so it'd be the same thing with me. It's like, well, my, uh, you give me the energy. So you but see, this, this all came around to last week because last week, Book came with that same scenario. If you, what happened? <laughs> I didn't understand it until Book made the scenario. What happened if you told a woman I loved you and she didn't say it back? I was like, ah. I tried that. I tried to lie about it, but my spirit wouldn't let me lie. I was like, Book, you got me. You know what I'm talking about? I would feel the way. Anyway, let's move on to the last topic of the day. You know what I'm saying? The boy Chris sent us some good topics earlier. Um, yeah. I'm going to get to this one. I think this Kim is... Kimmy Lee, is she? Kimmy Lee, is she? Who? Kim Lee? No, nah, she right here. Okay. Um, I, I, I think this is good because we got women on the podcast today. Yeah, um, sure. Book, make sure you tell them. We had a great conversation about his, his issue. Um, and, I mean, we came to a stalemate. Uh, overall, the nigga a good nigga because uh, ain't nobody – I don't know no nigga to do the all that. You know what I'm saying? This is way two years. But, I mean – Hats off to him. Hats off to him. Hats off to him, but it might be time That's to move on. Um, yeah. True. True. Just like the next topic. Um, is there a sex toy that you've wanted to try but never have? Well, we going we going that one. We going that one. We go, we go, we going to say the other two because I think those two are good, and then we're going to talk for a little uh, bit. So I, I kind of felt that the other one would have been better with the ladies on. I ain't gonna lie. Then then you take it. Then we, we'll say. I, I thought I the sex toy lie. won't be good because I don't because really that incorporates both that. parties. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, then good. Go go, go ahead. Go That's ahead. a quid pro quo. Good. All right. So uh, what? Hey guys, you at least know a topic for next time. So, uh, <laughs> if um, the question is, if your significant other could give you a release at any time and every time you needed it, would you still feel the need to masturbate? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna go first. Um, That's what I want to know because the, the partners are here for the most part. You know, we got two of the partners here. First, you know first off, so I'll just speak loosely on my part. Though. Okay, my thing is, I I don't want Kim masturbating at all, and the reason why is because I am literally available to give it to her in a moment's notice. Am I lying? I'm about to put you on camera. Am I lying? <laughs> am I? No, you are not lying. And if she was willing, like the question said, willing to give it to me at a moment, anytime I felt like releasing, there would be no need for me to masturbate. You heard? I would not do it. I wouldn't have to do it. Because why would I masturbate when I'd be like, hey, hey, it's that time. It's that time. I'm good. So if I would, if I have that kind of parameter for me, like, no, you Every if you need it, I'm gonna give it to you. I'm gonna put in work. I'm gonna take as long as it's gonna take. And it ain't gonna take that long. You know I do good job. Um, <laughs> but I'm gonna put in the work. I'm gonna get you there. If you willing to reciprocate that, I will never watch porn again. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no more um, porn hub. Ain't no more X videos. You know what I'm talking about? All the free sites. We ain't messing with none of that. But until that, we gonna. We're going to log on on a tablet and, and get the work done. <laughs> go, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead, Chris. Chris looking. I need to hear what Chris got to say right now. Uh, I mean, I, I think that, that kind of goes without saying, man. I actually remember a Chris Rock stand-up, and it was actually about a man cheating. And so it was like, women, y'all want to know how to stop a man from cheating? He said, be there. <laughs> Anytime you're thinking about fucking, just be there. <laughs> so, so, so I think it goes without saying that if, if, if he or she is willing to give you that, you know what I'm saying, I don't think you would have that need or desire to even want to, you know what I'm saying, because you're always going to get right. And that's, that's pretty much it for me. You know? What's the point? She, I mean, who needs it? If, 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 if she's always willing, and women, if he's always willing, you don't need to. Unless, I'll, well, I'll take that, unless you just want them greedy ones. And 
maybe want something else. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't going to dip into all that. But for the most part, if, if your lady or your, your man is willing to do it, what it takes to get you whenever you want it, however you want it, I don't even see what's the point. Are you feeling like you have to do it for yourself? Yeah, you can hit that question. <laughs> I mean, I don't think that it's, I don't think that it's, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Talking to the microphone, please. Oh, I don't think that it's one of those, those questions that is, it's a cut and dry type of answer. I think on the creativity side, I think it helps when you know what, what you like, what your body likes first, and then getting ideas from things and trying it out with your significant other, your partner, your husband, your wife, whatever. Now, if in this scenario, if I, all, if I knew everything about sex and knew everything that there was to know about it and to try new things and all that, then no, there wouldn't be a reason to. But I think it's once you've been with someone for a long time, you want to keep the spice. You want to keep the the you know the enjoyment there of finding out new things and new ways to pleasure pleasure each other. So I, sometimes I feel like you can only get that from maybe either looking at something else or trying something on yourself first to see if you even like it. Does it happen all the time? No, but I don't think that you could just. I don't think it would just be like, oh, I would never ever ever again. I, I just I don't think it's a cut and dry answer like that. Go downstairs. <laughs> um, go go ahead, um, Cody and Jasmine. Yeah, y'all can go ahead and go. Jasmine looking like she don't want to answer this question. All right, you can go ahead. Okay, well, okay, okay. No, I want to hear what you said. Okay. You, know, you go. No, you go. <laughs> go ahead. I know I don't have permission to explore anything by my own. <laughs> Oh, you you grant you grant that permission? Though? Nah, man, I ain't take no permission. <laughs> Go ahead. Yes, what? What? <laughs> yes, what? <laughs> you know, being married for so long, right? You kind of want to try to different things, you know, not to keep doing the same old, same old. Try different things, you know. Uh, Cody's a traditional kind of person. Trying <laughs> <laughs> to try different things, right? Because you know, your wife fronts influence some things. You know, Cody wasn't having it. What, what, what are we talking? What are we talking about? Do we do we remember the question? Yeah. What, what what are we talking about? <laughs> Yeah, but what, what is Jasmine talking about? <laughs> Jasmine. Oh, I don't know. Well, I mean, I even, mean but even like, not just like, you know, doing it by yourself, right? You can do it in front of your partner. Mm-hmm. It kind of like spice up things. Yeah. Yay, nay. No, that's fine. But that means I'm I'm getting into the action. That's not the same thing as you just doing it and I'm watching it and be like, oh, okay, that's fine. Let me go to sleep now. That's not the same thing. Is you spicing it up for me to get into the business? I mean, we spicing it up together. It's still together. Now, now I jump in to tell the truth behind the truth if that's what she was giving. Thank you, because she's talking in code. Yeah, the Da Vinci. She mess yeah. around like, okay, if I'm not getting none, I do not want to find you rubbing nothing out. You should not be getting. If I ain't getting on that, you shouldn't be getting on that. Now, if you getting a nut and I ain't, then there's an issue. I don't. I don't mind. I, 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 to a certain extent, I am totally available. Ask Kim. I had the flu one time, hundred some degree temperature. In oh, <laughs> so, some hundred some degree. Never let this go, bro. Let's take a throw in the market. Join, join in. I, I couldn't I, move yeah. nothing, but my dick. <laughs> it just, that's it. My rest of my body was dead. I was just <laughs> stuffed up and everything. You heard? I'm like, <laughs> just just go ahead and do what you got to do. I am committed to this. You heard? <laughs> 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 
Well, man, I'm committed to this. I don't just talk just to be talking. I'm committed to this. So, yo, go on and get yours. Bro, I don't even know. I was so fucked up, I don't even think I came. Because that was how, how, how bad I was hurting inside. This nigga stupid. It took everything in me to keep my, keep my stuff up, you heard? Oh, <laughs> I'm God. just saying. Bro, 100 something degree temperature just up here like. Boy, you stupid, man. Dick up, that's it. Dick up, that's the only thing up. Yeah, that's, I let her get us. That's, that's <laughs> it, man. Right there, boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's all it is. You know what I'm saying? But she ain't willing to do the same for me. Now, if you're willing to do the same for me, if, if we ain't willing to do the same for each other, then hey, you go and get yourself because I'm tired right now. With them. But if I'm willing, then you need to, you know what I'm saying? And why are you going to play with yourself? I don't understand that part. That's my whole point. And so, to my, mm. my point, if if she's willing to get me right anytime I'm ready to get right, I would never jack off again. I would never look at no porn or nothing ever again. But well, are you ready nothing. on the opposite side to get her ready anytime she's ready to get ready? Yeah. Nah, you don't sound confident at all. <laughs> that nigga don't sound confident at all. She, gotta, she, gotta, she told you before, she got to be in the mood and she got to feel right and all this and all this. It's a lot of other... That's a lot of other particulars that have to be in place in order for her to be at that point. So I don't know when all those are in place. But us, we can wake up. We can wake up and say, hey, I need I need something. I need something. Like they they don't necessarily wake up like that every morning. We wake up like that damn near every morning. I don't know, man. That's y'all, y'all got me feeling some kind of way now, man. <laughs> Who are you talking about, man? <laughs> nah, cause like, preferably when I'm wide awake, hey, I want to go to work. You know what I'm saying? But Sean, I'm a night owl. Sean's an early bird. You know what I'm saying? So it, sometimes, and then we got little mama. You know what I'm saying? Who's sometimes up at wee hours of the day, and then well, kid, he be in the back, so he ain't, he ain't the issue. But she sleep with us too. Um, so anyways. Her thing is three, four o'clock in the morning. Like wake me out of a comatose sleep, you know, type. But the thing, but I'm like, I'm like kind of, you know, like Franz in a sense, like, oh, it's, it's time, okay, you know. And I'm like, let's go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I'm gonna wake up for that, you know what I'm saying? Because I know that's what she wants in that time, you know what I'm saying? So I don't care how sleep I am, wake me up, let's go. That's just that's what it is. On the flip side, is she willing to wake up for me? I wish I could bring on the camera right now. Cause we'll be- it's all right. We know the answer. We know the answer. They don't wake up for us. They don't wake up for us, man. Mm-hmm. We we bothering them. We, they, they tired. I, will, I, I just woke up 3 o'clock in the morning for this. I bro, need that for us. Bro, we had a whole conversation the other night. I ain't going to go too much in detail. That's fine. But how I go... I give it to her when we, we having sex. I give her like three, four, five, three, four, two, three orgasms. You know what I'm saying? Somewhere in that range. Multiple. Nigga went from five to three, four. Exactly. Four, because three. I, <laughs> two, three <laughs> orgasms. Because, because sometimes you don't know if that's just residual from the last one. You know what I'm saying? You don't know. You know what I'm saying? Body quivering. Um, and <laughs> what happens is if I do that and I go all out, she don't want none for possible up to what you said three day limit. Yeah, three days I have to wait. You got to wait three days, and I have to because she said she's burnt out. I didn't say burn. I've I've depleted. I I've depleted the the sex system. <laughs> if I give her multiple, I personally love that. I'm a Virgo. We we here to please. You know what I'm saying, women. Get you a Virgo. You know what I'm saying? We here to please. You I want to feel that vibe. You know, how you know what sign you are, but you don't, but you don't know dates and everything. This nigga know his sign. What is he talking about? He's nigga know what sign he is, but he don't know what size pants he wear. Fuck out of here, man. Everybody listening to you. Come on, man. Get the hell out of here, Frank. Everybody think about you, bro. Nigga know the whole list of what his Virgo attributes is, but don't know what size pant he wear. What that, what that what mean? size belt go on his waist? Get the yeah. hell out. Well, you don't shut up, man. You said it. You said this shit. Boy, if it weren't for Kim, I'd be wearing a goddamn paper bag. I don't, I don't know. 
I don't know. I, I'll be wearing. I don't know. I, I don't know. We we have events, and I pull I, up. I don't know what size shirt, shirt I wear. And, and I don't a T-shirt know. and a Superman T-shirt. Here, That's man. what I do. But um, nigga, know what a Virgo is, huh? Yeah, get your Virgo, girl. Virgos. We got all these. Get out of here, Virgos. When you get us in the bedroom, nigga, <laughs> us. Now it's us. You know, the get the here, Virgos bro. in the bedroom. You possibly start quivering and you start shaking. But all I'm saying is, if I go all out, she good for three days, three day maximum. I can't get another freaky Kim out of. You know what I'm saying? How is that fair? I think the female orgasm takes more out of a female than a male orgasm because I know when I get a good one, I'm I'm rolling over. I don't want to touch me. Yeah, I don't. Touching me, I'm, I'm I'm good. And we now, the opposite. Now that's rough. <laughs> we the opposite. You don't let him finish. That's selfish. No, that, no, no. That, I always finish. Me. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Look at him like he yeah he always finish. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm a, I'm a different finish. No, that nigga see, always <laughs> done. I just tell him just leave it in. I'll move around a little bit. <laughs> she, don't leave, she don't leave me like that. I finish. It's mm. just ain't no ain't no ain't no. Extra rounds or nothing like that, like it's <laughs> it's too it's too sensitive. Three of us gone. <laughs> sensitive, but you to don't us, think that's a little selfish. No, absolutely. We, we give I'm, y'all three. I'm not. I'm not gonna say we it. we gotta settle with that one, and then we supposed to be good for three days until you nah, cause feel I'm back up. I'm gonna be honest, and I'm gonna be straight up. After that one, I usually end up revving out a, a second because the second was always the best one. <laughs> <laughs> the second was always the best. Okay. That's always when, been like that. When you say best, what exactly are you implying? You got uh, heightened sensitivity. <laughs> like you feel everything. Nah, my they, my first they, one is they, no, they, no. I I got long with that with second the one. That second one drained you, my brother. But you got to work for that one. That <laughs> one takes some dedication. That one takes concentration. <laughs> the first one guaranteed. That second one, boy, you gotta, you gotta give your all to that. Be <laughs> <laughs> counting on my pinky toe, nigga. Give me that little bit of juice you got, bro. Come on with it, <laughs> hey, man, bro. bro you gotta, you gotta be in that, bro, boy, boy. Because you could lose, you could lose the stimulation at any time. You see what I'm saying? So, like, you got it, boy. Yo, your mind gotta be a powerful object as well to help create. <laughs> That physical I'm glad stimulus. y'all saying this because I tell her the same thing. <laughs> I'm no, it, it ain't. It, it's not easy. It's not easy. Trust but me. It's the best. That second one is the best. That second it ain't one is easy. I'm gonna have to. It's easy for us women as you think it is. That, okay. It depends on what night twice. it is. You know what I'm talking about? It, it's not as easy as you think it is. All right. Like, trust me. When your man say keep going, or he want to put it back, just let that nigga rock out because guess what? Ain't gonna be too many times that this nigga got the power. <laughs> to go to ground already. That's not something that we could do every fucking time. Okay, we gotta be like bona fide, nasty, nasty, ready, ready. Okay, it, it is what it is. You gotta take those. You gotta take those. That boy talking it. right there. That boy pretty. Had it. Yeah. Now, I know I talk a lot of shit. Like I haven't even answered my question about the get down. Um, I, I don't think I really need to. I'm gonna just say at the drop of a dime. Actually, before the dime even drop, I'm ready. I'm gone. Okay, that's how we gonna do that. Um, with me, I'm still gonna fucking masturbate. I don't give a damn. Because guess what? You can't be everywhere at every fucking time, okay? If I'm at work and I want some, what, you gonna come? You gonna give it to me right there on the laptop? You gonna give it to yeah, me on the keyboard? Yeah, you, you got an issue, you masturbate no, at work, bro. I be one that thing all the damn time. I might got the Eric Benet. I don't know. Eric Benet, sex act. I don't know. I don't know what my problem is, but I be one, okay? So if you can't be there, then guess what I gotta do? I gotta improvise. I gotta put hand to thing and do my job. That's it. So, um... Now, if you are around me and I know it is feasible for you to get to me, then yeah, I can hold out. I can hold out. But like Kim said, there are things that I do want to know. You know what I'm talking about? I'm not traditional like Cody is. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, baby, here's the plan. Uh, missionary tonight. <laughs> Monday missionary. So, all right. No, I like the freestyle. So, I want to see new things that's going on in the world. And I'm like, okay. The only way that I know if it's going to feel good is if I put my mind in the screen, you know what I'm talking about? Like, if I, have to, if I, I have to teleport, you know what I'm talking about? I have to think that that is me and visualize what she's doing 
to make me feel good. And the only way that I can know if it feels good is if I improvise with her. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, okay. Yeah, okay, slow. Oh, all right. See how she roll? Okay. I wasn't ready for that. You know what I'm talking about? My hands don't roll, <laughs> but I'm visualizing the stimulation. So therefore I know that works. And I'm gonna tell my queen, hey, do that thing. That this is what she did, and I'll help her move her body the way. It's, it's she ain't gonna wanna about. hear that. She ain't gonna wanna hear that. That's right. cool, but she know I watch it. She know I watch it, so it don't matter. You know what I'm talking about? I'm, I'm, I'm an avid porn watcher. I'm sorry. I watch <laughs> shit. You know what I'm talking about? I watch shit. So, um, like I said, I won't do it if she's literally able to get to me, but if she ain't, I got to do what I got to do. So, uh, yeah. Yo, but I'm I'm totally honest. Like, I ask her all the time, like, yo, what you want to do? Like, if how you want it? I ask her. Like, I'm the radio station. I answer all requests. Like, how you want it tonight? Let's go. I'm willing to do whatever you talking about, long as it ain't got nothing to do with my booty hole. We good. You know what I'm saying? Don't but touch my... where do you my... think those ideas come from? Not my booty hole. No, no, no. Huh? Not what? that. I'm saying, if you, <laughs> if you ask somebody what they want, where do you think those ideas come from if you haven't tried them yourself first and felt how they feel? You can't feel how it feels until you got the per. They had a dude doing it with them. You need me to need do it with you and say, hey, well, you know what? That don't feel as good as it looked on the thing. I'm not talking about like those types. I'm not talking about like positions. I'm talking about feeling like when they when you're doing something with your partner, you're like, oh, no, go deeper or do this or do that. I'd rather, I'd rather, I would much rather than to look at porn. I'm not like what? <laughs> than to look at porn. I would much rather for me and you to, we've done it before, like yeah. trying to figure out like what, how you like this? Yeah. How you like that? Does this feel better than this? I ask those questions. I, I much rather tutorial. do that. Huh? Sometimes the tutorial is better. Exactly. I, well, well, before you work out, don't people got workout DVDs to make sure that you're doing it the correct way? Mm. Okay? That's the same thing that I'm doing, man. This is my workout DVD. I just need a tutorial to show me you got the advanced version and then you got the modified off to the side. Sometimes we go with the modified. Like that, that ain't, that ain't, that ain't going to work. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes I just need to see, I don't want to go in there and hurt nobody. And I don't want her to hurt me doing the helicopter. Okay. So I need you to take notes and be like, this is how she spun the propellers. Okay. You got to make sure that you do it like that. All right. That's, that's all. You know what I'm saying? I don't necessarily just be like, oh man, I want to watch porn. It's just one of them things like, yo, I'll be horny and <laughs> you ain't around. So it would is. But trust me, I've gotten many, many a moves from watching this thing. For sure. So me, me too. I'm good. I don't think there's nothing under the sun that I haven't seen or tried to use. I haven't been able to use it on, you know, all my moves on one person because, I mean, everything don't suit everybody. Everybody body different. Okay. You Like I said, everybody body different. Everybody body different. So <laughs> you got to be able to know how to finesse that. Okay. It, it I, know we'll get this one going. I know we'll get that one going. I know we'll get my wife going. I know we'll get my past going. Like it's it's just it's it's levels. Okay. And also it's about experience. Not everybody got the same level of experience um to be able to handle these type of positions and this type of game that I play. So yo, you know, yo, but sometimes who was it's it? a scrimmage. Yo, but hmm? who was it? Ted DiBiase or, or Chris Benoit that, that was the man of a thousand moves? Uh that's uh Dan Malenko. Damn, there we go. Yeah, I know you nice, would know. Man. Damn, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm a, I'm a WCW, WWF, which is now WWE catalog. I watched all <laughs> this shit. Okay, the Iceman, Dan Malenko. Some of y'all niggas don't even know who fucking Dan Malenko is. Do your, do your research. Do your research. But, but yeah. Great question, Coach. I mean, Chris. Great question. Yeah, man. Um, I'm, glad, I'm glad the women was on today. Thank you, ladies. I, I think... That this conversation was very needed for you guys um, to be here because a lot of times we hear women say, Well, y'all just getting one side. Well, it's the it's called a goddamn man's view. This is the this how I view the shit. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck you want from me? Um anyway, um, y'all got anything before we get up out of here, man? I think this is good enough. I got an inspirational person of the week. Um I guess we was kind of through with the inspiration, but I mean, I'm throwing, it out. It. I'm throwing it out there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give it to Kim. Congratulations, Kim. Know what she accomplished. Oh, yeah. I ain't gonna necessarily say it unless she wants it to be out there, but salute to Kim. 
Salute to Kim. Thank you. How you give somebody inspiration and ain't tell the world <laughs> why they need to be inspired? How she know? How she know? She know. She know. She know. You could just say, I want to big up Kim real quick. That's all you could have said. You, know. you, you didn't have to person. say his inspiration if you I'm ain't going to tell them what, what the hell not, it is. I'm not putting all that fine up there for you not to say shit about it. I'm saying it. She She's stepping out and being the a phenomenal woman as she should be. That's all I'm saying. Okay. I agree. Yeah. That's it. I think... What is Cody talking about? Just flat across screen, but <laughs> <laughs> I, I, understand, I understand. I understand. I understand. <laughs> don't like, I don't it don't matter. Sharing. The people at home, like, what is Cody talking about? That's what I'm saying. Okay, uh, Chris, what you got, man? <laughs> I got nothing, man. You know, another week, man. With y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? That's mm-hmm. the back. That's two weeks in a row, man. We we thank you for that, bro. Proud. We of appreciate you. it. Proud of you, man. Appreciate that, bud. <laughs> yeah, even though y'all, y'all, y'all next week, if you hear next week, you got my respect. Right now, I'm just proud of you. <laughs> even though this, I said three times, this the new Call of Duty crew, this, right here. Bam, bam, bam. We just need AD in this thing. Oh, and Travis, <laughs> Travis, Travis. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Appreciate you dodging my call last night, Franz. Yeah, we talked about that. What, what happened? Uh, we, we we talked about that offline. Hold up, hold up. Now, we're going to get this together oh, we're right now. We're talking about it offline. We're talking about it offline. Oh, okay. Gotcha. No problem. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, what you got, Book? Uh, nothing much, man. Just everybody. Uh, continue to take care of yourselves. You know what I mean? Um, just love your loved ones while they're still here. You know, call and check on them. You know, uh, I'm not going to say that. Yeah, that's, that's good enough. I was going to say something else, but I'm going to let that rock. Um, just, you know kind of be there and you know just check on them especially the elderly so gotcha jasmine you got anything before we leave about here you thought i wasn't gonna let you talk huh i tried to get the men out of the way first you heard mm-hmm. try to be respectful i'm good. good peace and love no problem unless she ain't through the peace sign up okay Yo, you got anything? <laughs> she ain't got nothing either um thank you guys for tuning in Thank y'all for, for staying with us the whole time. If you stayed here this long, man, we appreciate it. Make sure y'all subscribe. Um, more, more than likely, you probably already subscribed. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend. Get on there. You know what I'm saying? We come in every week. We the most consistent thing in your goddamn life. So might as well make somebody else do it because we here every week. Drop it on Sunday. Sometime, maybe Monday. You know what I'm saying? Depending on how, how I edit the shit up. Um, make sure y'all follow us on all platforms. I haven't been posting as much because I got a hating ass nigga on there. I think somebody reporting me on on purpose, man. Every time I post something, somebody po- um, reporting my ass. I'm like, this everybody didn't post it. I started reposting from somebody else because you can't say I got it from you. Like I reposted, I got it from somebody else, nigga. God damn. And they still they still getting me. So I'm sorry if I haven't been as um as 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 high on the reposting and putting on Instagram. But we got hating ass niggas out here. Let's just <laughs> MVP. Um, and until next time, we love you. Peace, love, enjoy. You like how I pause this right there? See you next time. <laughs> Good job. <Yeah. laughs> Pray for me. Pray for me. Do everything I